Today, the deadline to file your taxes here in Rhode Island and, and Massachusetts actually have until Wednesday because of back-to-back -back holidays. But for some Rhode Islanders living in three specific counties affected by storm damage in December of 2023 and January of this year, you have an extra three months now. Joe Cortez live in studio right now with everything you need to know. Joe. Well, Patrick, Kate, the deadline to submit your returns were filed for an extension. It's tonight at midnight. People in the three counties of Providence, Kent, and Washington who were affected by those severe storms and flooding last December automatically get an extension until July 15th, both state and federal. They can file normally until the new deadline. Now, with that saying, this comes after FEMA issued a disaster declaration for flooding and damage caused by those December storms. The IRS says tens of thousands of taxpayers have already filed for free using their new direct file tool currently available in 12 states, including Massachusetts. Most people who qualify for refunds will see them in about 21 days. If you need to file an extension, you can go to irs.gov and fill out the appropriate form. Now, if you owe money to the IRS but can't pay it by the end of the day, the IRS says you can set up installment plan on their their website. Two out of every three taxpayers that files with us is owed a refund. Uh, and people want their refunds quickly as they should. Um, and we want to get people's money in their pocket. Our mission at the IRS is not necessarily to make it fun, but to make it as seamless and as easy as possible and to give taxpayers options and to serve them uh, wherever they are and, and what they need. Now, Rhode Islanders in Newport and Bristol counties must still file and pay their federal tax returns by today's deadline. For more information, you can head over to our website, WPRI.com. Live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.